Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We reflect on Easter Sunday, the first Sunday of Easter. Jesus Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. I want us for this year to reflect on this theme, God's power, God's grace, breaking through into our human existence. The idea of this theme comes from, this, from these three images. You see, the tomb of Jesus Christ, there was a big rock that closes it. But during the event of the resurrection, the power of God, the grace of God broke through. It moved the rock. There is the breaking through of God's power and God's grace. The second image, there is the lifeless body of the crucified one. And then there is the power of God. There is the grace of God. Remember, Jesus Christ said, I have the power to lay my life down. I have the power to take it up again. Therefore, here comes in the event of the resurrection, the power of God, the grace of God. Breaking through in the lifeless body of the crucified one, now becoming the risen one, the risen Lord Jesus. The third image, when the risen one has gone out from the tomb, has risen, life and creation has changed. The old creation has now become a new creation. The old life is past and gone. Now new life, divine life, glorious life in Christ the risen Lord. Everything is new. Darkness has vanished. Light has come. Sin is destroyed. Grace has come. God's power, God's grace has broken through and is shining gloriously. I want us to capture this for this Sunday of Easter. And so in our life as well, for this Sunday, for this year, I want us to capture in these three images our own lives. First of all, if there are rocks, stones, hindrances that impedes us in going towards Jesus, in trying to grow in spiritual life, in trying to be lifted up for God, let the grace of God and the power of God break through in our lives. Maybe there is the laziness in our spirituality. Let that rock be moved away. Maybe uh, there is the infidelity that is happening in our lives. Let the rock be moved away and let you be faithful. Maybe there is the, there are some corruption that is happening in our life. Maybe moral corruption or maybe at work some corruption instead of professionalism. Let that rock be moved away so that you become honest, you become faithful, you become person of integrity. The second image present also in our lives, lifelessness. Maybe we are uh, experiencing lifelessness in our prayer life. Lord, the grace of God and the power of God reanimate our, our prayer life. Maybe there is uh, some lifelessness in married life. Um, Lord, reanimate and empower our love and joy in marriage and family. Because many times married people feel uh, they're already bickering and uh, arguing, etc. Maybe let the grace of God and the power of God break through and empower again in a newness your love, your fidelity, your allegiance and loyalty to each other. Maybe in our journey of spiritual life, we need to grow in devotion. So let the grace of God and the power of God uh, reanimate and re-energize, uh, recharge everything so that we can launch anew this uh, glory in our spiritual journey. This, the third, and the third image, the new creation. Yes, 
Let us be a new creation. Let the grace of God and the power of God break through in our human existence. So, so that if we are indeed inclined to some vices and stupidity and foolishness, we cast them away and let us indeed have newness of life. Some forms of darkness in our mentality, in our behavior, let that be cut, cast out. Let us become a new creation. Ask yourself, let us ask ourselves sincerely, what are the forms of old self or darkness that remains? Let must be cast out and become a new creation in Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Today, this Sunday, God's power, God's grace has broken through. Has let indeed this power and grace of God break through in our human existence in a personal way so that our Christian life may not be mediocre life, but a life that is totally glorious. Just as Jesus has risen, we have risen today. Just as Jesus is glorious, we are glorious today. Just as Jesus is victorious, we are also victorious today. God's power and grace has broken through. This is the breakthrough of God's grace and power. And let us, you and I, experience that in a personal way. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others. Happy Easter!